Well, hey, Merry Christmas to you all. Did you all have a nice Christmas? I did. Oh, mince pies, loads of chocolate pud. Oh, and the mother-in-law came round too. And what about your presents? I've got some lovely presents. My son brought me this. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really know how to tell him. Do you know what? My friends at Talk Talk did a survey, yeah, of Christmas presents, things that you bought people. And three quarters of people actually paid for presents that you don't want. But are they talking rubbish? Come on, let's go and find out. Rubbish Christmas presents. About the worst Christmas present you've ever had. Worst Christmas? Yeah, no. This <laughs> oh, it's got to be socks, isn't it? It's always socks. 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 I know. Not great. We just got actually a, a, a bunch of six uh, teaspoons that my girlfriend quite likes, but I find rather disgusting. My topless supporter and he got me an Arsenal <laughs> so, pair of socks. This year I got a green Mr. Laser t shirt from my uncle John, which was particularly, I wouldn't even use it as a, as a paint rack. I got a great goodie bag full of cleaning products. <laughs> what are we going to do with that? I don't like cleaning at all. Probably even the worst present I got was from the same person. It was a Simpsons bin, and every time you threw something in it, it said dough. For me, probably a novel. I was like, women's perfume. No. Women's perfume. No. Yeah. What are you going to learn from that? Nothing. Especially Nothing. I'm chronically dyslexic, buy me a book. A key ring. A key ring? Yeah. What was it like? Just a key ring with a dog on it. But you have to wear it because obviously, you know, your mum's got it for you. you that's true. Actually, you can't turn them down. Are you wearing it now? No, that's, that's just a natural over that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've had enough no. of this. Right. I'm going to knock on a few doors okay. now. Yes, check his place swap job. Let's go. Take care. I love knocking on doors. Let's try this one here. Wake up, you beggars, it's checkers. Fingers Oh, fantastic. Hello. Hi. Look, I'm Keith Chagwin. Hi. Say hello to everybody on telly. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Laura. Do you mind me bothering you, Laura? No, that's fine. Look, I want to bother you in a big way because I've got my Christmas hat on still. I've had it on for months. We're trying to find out uh, what people got for Christmas. Did you get any bad presents at Christmas? I got a really nasty handbag for my nan. You're joking. Mm. Uh, and uh, what did she say when she handed it over? Did she say, you're going to like this? Yeah, she was like pink. I always thought pink was your favourite colour. And what did you say when you got it? I was like, oh, thanks so much, Nan, that's lovely. <laughs> yeah, you haven't got it here, have you? Yeah. I'll do, you, I'll do you a little deal. Go and get the handbag. OK, okay. Go, yeah, off you go. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Go find the handbag. Good news, cos I've got a little surprise there. Look at this. Look. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, cool, let's have a look at the handbag. Oh, for... <laughs> Oh, that is disgusting, isn't it? Oh, gosh, you were so right. That looks like a Hells Angels handbag in pink. We're going to do a little deal, a little bit of swapping, cheggers swapping. We have got this brand new web book. You can chat to your nan via the web, you can rootle on it for hours on end. I'll do you a favour, but you haven't got to accept it. I'll swap this for your handbag. I would gladly take that. <laughs> I can gladly take this off. That didn't take lovely. you long to decide, did it? <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. You've got a web book, and Checkers has got a new handbag, and the vice of the guys at Talk Talk, and this is a good one, this. Don't go out buying people socks and shirts and things that they don't want for Christmas. Get them some vouchers. Well, hey!